good morning students today we shall continue with question number 5 of exercise 4.4 yesterday we completed question number 1 2 3 4 in which you did applications of hcf today we shall continue with applications of lcm okay hope you all have completed your work okay today's date is 18 72020 clear see watching video watching the solution of all this is very much important for you clear see what is there in question number 5 find the least number which is exactly divisible by 9 12 and 18 yesterday i told you what to do if you find least if it is written least what to do you need to find lcm okay we are going to start with question number 5 solution okay right lcm of 9 12 and 18 clear create lcm box 9 12 18 okay find out the lcm using division method 9 is not divisible by 2 so write it 9 2 6 are 12 2 9 are 18 look at this number 6 is again divisible by 2 so take 2 2 3 are 6 clear now look at all these number these are not divisible by 2 as these are odd number so take next prime number which is 3 3 3 is a 9 3 1 is a 3 3 3 is a 9 again it is divisible by 3 3 1 is a 3 3 1 is a 3 and 3 1 is a 3 see one was already there so one will remain one clear now we have got the prime factors 2 2 3 and 3 clear now multiply 2 2 is a 4 Four threes are twelve, and twelve threes are thirty-six. Therefore, what was the question asking? Find the least number which is exactly divisible by nine, twelve, and eighteen. Therefore, thirty-six is the least number which is. Exactly divisible by nine, twelve, and eighteen. It's very simple. What you need to do, you just find find LCM of these given number by division method, and then this is the answer. Clear? Now. next question question number 6 what is there in question number 6 let's read it a big can contains some milk pots of 2 liter 4 liters and 5 liters capacity can be used whole number of times it should be how number of times to empty the can completely what is the least capacity of the can what is the least capacity of the can see here least again so what you need to do lcm so again we are going to start here with lcm lcm of 2 4 and 5 
टू फोर एंड फाइव क्लियर अगेन डू द सेम प्रोसेस फाइंड आउट एल सी एम ऑफ दीज नंबर यूजिंग डिविजन मैथड टू वन जर टू 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 जर फोर फाइव इज नॉट डिविजल बाई टू सो अगेन टू स्टेबल टू वन जर टू फाइव इज नॉट डिविजल नाउ फाइव क्लियर सो वट इज द प्राइम फैक्टर वी हैव गॉट हियर टू टू एंड फाइव मल्टीप्लाई टू टू जर फोर फोर फाइव जर ट्वेंटी क्लियर देर फोर वट इज द लीस्ट कैपेसिटी ऑफ द कैन देर फोर ट्वेंटी लीटर इज द लीस्ट कैपेसिटी ऑफ द कैन क्लियर Now look at question number सेवन What is the least number of bananas a teacher should have so that when he distributes equal number of bananas to his टेन फिफ्टीन and ट्वेंटी फाइव students, no banana is left with him? What you need to do? Again, it is asking least. So what you will do? LCM by division method. So this question. i'm giving you as homework try this by yourself okay now look at question number 8 three bells ring at intervals of 15 20 and 30 minutes if they all ring at 11 am together at what time will they next ring together again to find out this we need to find lcm of these using division method okay okay we are going to do this question question number 8 solution okay lcm of 15 20 and 30 okay same method 15 20 30 clear now start with two stable 15 is not divisible so write it as it is 2 10s are 20 2 15s are 30 clear again 10 is there so you can take two stable 2 fives are 10 15 will remain 15 now next number is 3 and 15 is divisible by 3 so take 3 3 fives are 15 5 is not divisible 3 fives are 15 clear now take next number as 5 five one zero five five one zero five five one zero five so what are the prime factors you have got here two into two into three into five clear multiply it two to the four four three to the twelve twelve fives are sixty now the question is asking at what time will they ring will they next ring together okay so we have got 60 and the questions were given in minutes so it is 60 minute therefore you can write therefore the next bell will ring together after 60 minutes that is at 12 noon if somebody is asking how it is 12 noon you can show it the bell all the bell starts at 11 am so 
you will be writing 11 am plus 60 minute equals to 1 hour 1 hour equals to 11 plus 1 12 noon clear so this question is also clear to everyone here we have completed chapter 4 in the next class we shall start with a new chapter which is common fractions chapter number 5 okay till then you complete your work and uh, we will be testing you time to time by giving worksheets so solve all the questions by yourself so that you can perform well in your worksheets okay till then take care bye bye